Okay, this is the clicker. Yeah, down is for your recollection. <coughs> Hello, I'm Pierre Luigi. This is Jared with the co founders of Angel AI. And um, what we do is summarize in this slide we are building natural language processing technology to translate natural language messages into structured search queries. We do that for messages um, with mainly transactional intent, meaning people who are trying to buy something or trying to uh, book a service. We do this for other things than travel, but since we're talking travel here, we also do it for travel. Um, and chatbots are all the rage right now, but don't imagine this solely for chatbots. Imagine this also for in-app search or website searches. Like this could technology could be used for anything. It could be part of a conversational experience. It could also just be a search bar on a website that, that enables uh, natural language search. Um, you all know this probably. Kaya can certainly be said to be a very well-designed uh, flight search app. And, uh, but it yet takes a time to perform a flight search through this. And I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna show you a video in a second. Instead of doing this, you could also be doing this. Exact same thing, but it's a lot easier, more intuitive, less cognitive load for you. And I want to show you a brief video um, for this. <coughs> so on the left, you see somebody typing the same request <coughs> that somebody tries to perform on Kayak <coughs> on the right. And um, every tap on Kayak takes a little bit to load. And um, at the end of the day, it just takes a little bit longer. And, and the fact that it takes longer is not the only argument. It's also just more intuitive to do. And I think if people had the option, even in an app, to do this natural language-wise, a lot of people would opt for that. Um, Are we back? Yeah. OK, so why are we able to build a model that's capable of doing such things? So we definitely were not able to do that overnight. And in fact, um, We've been working in conversational commerce for the last 18 months as Go Butler, a human-based uh, concierge service based out of New York and Berlin. And we learned a lot on, along the way, and Angel.ai is the result of everything that we've learned there. And the key thing is that over those 18 months, we received millions of requests for products and services. And those requests now are enable us to train models to recognize patterns and in the end, uh, help us understand messages. So this just depicts uh, uh, roughly the kind of data that we have. We have a lot of data. It's unfortunate that I won't have enough time to explain it. But so on the, on the right side it is just a graph that's showing um, the way that our neural <coughs> network models understand messages <coughs> across many different domains. And we have uh, uh, several million messages, and more than that, uh, many conversations. So um, how do we intend to make money? So subscription-based models and uh, conversion uh, affiliate shares. Any questions? <coughs> um, I have one. Uh, I've tried your demo, actually, earlier. And uh, you are sending the user to <coughs> a flight search, which is yeah. uh, ITA. Um, I was at Focusrite last week in Dublin, and, and the head of Google Travel demoed their new destination app where you can actually talk to your phone and say, I want uh, a hotel or I want a flight from Paris to San Francisco tomorrow. And then the app just show you all the results available. So it's even faster. Why yeah. would I go through you guys? Um, we only included the link to Google Flights just as a little gimmick so that the demo is a little more satisfying and actually shows the results. Um, we're developing a pilot project with Turkish Airlines for this, um, a Facebook integration in this case. Um, a bot that you will be able to use on Facebook. And um, of course, uh, Google, like a lot of players are working on this technology and a lot of players generally work on um, making products more accessible to users through natural language. And Google is one of them and they will certainly be very good at it. But a lot of companies will want that for their own service. They will want that for their website, they will want that for their app and other things. 
and uh, and a lot of this will likely not be Google powered. Uh, so you would be more like a B two B. Yes, we, yes, uh, we are a B two B company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we don't we don't try to be consumer focused. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Who's the target customer? Is it is it airlines and hotels? Or airlines, also hotels, OTAs? but also OTAs like aggregators like uh, Booking dot com. So anyone like, that's yeah, like, exactly booking. like any anybody. Yeah. Okay. What will you be doing with the data that you gather from this? I didn't see that in your revenue model. Um, we will like we will use it to train our models to so they will get better and better. Um, the the partners that we sign deals with um, part of it is that we are allowed to use any data we gather um, while through them through their customers, and um, over time that will enable us also to build up like profiles of users um, cross vertical. Since I explained, we're not only doing flights. So you talk about a conversation, but is it continuous? So that if I ask a question and then I say another question based on that first question, is it going to remember what I said and then adjust it, or is each question individually answered separately? So uh, we actually have a demo, which everyone should try. It's at angel.ai. And um, currently, w like, so we do have support for uh, contextual conversational stuff. So you can, you can ask for a flight. And if, if, you, if you forget to specify some parameter that's critical, such as your return date or uh, your departure location, we'll ask you for that information. You provide that information. Once we have a, the like, complete set of required parameters, we'll, we'll do a search for you. And then at that point, you could say, <coughs> I want only a nonstop flight. How about if I say I want a hotel in the city I'm going to? That's all I say. It, uh, certainly, like, that's within the, the product spec that we have, but we've not yet developed it. Any, any thought about trying to use the Viv platform, the, the Siri uh, founders who released Viv? They are working on something similar. Yeah. Um, but it, they've really got the conversational piece down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like and we haven't seen it yet. I mean, yeah, we've seen the demo, and yeah, uh, but but uh, seen your demo. everyone yeah. sees demos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just you know, it's just interesting. Thank you. Is mm -hmm. your sustainability based on the fact that you think Facebook <coughs> and Google are not going to license their chat box technology to hotels and airlines down the road? So, is that your assumption? Um, not only that, but it's also like at this time. Um, Lots of people, lots of companies will want that, and um, it's also a bit like a little bit of a race for the most clients in the shortest amount of time. And there's uh, one other more general point about the competition that, which is that we've been working on this problem for a long time, and we didn't only acquire data; like we actually responded to requests that people sent in for things like flights and hotels and flower deliveries and restaurant reservations and everything. And so we like have very first-hand experience in how that process tends to work and what m tends to make people happy and what tends to disappoint them severely. So th I think all that is, uh, is very critical whenever you want to make a product that's successful. And where are you launching? So we will have a... Um, so we're a business to business company, yeah. and uh, we'll be powering the uh, a Facebook Messenger presence for Turkish Airlines within the next two months. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.